are you clued up on stopping distances? By law, we are all supposed to know exactly how long it takes us to stop when traveling at multiple speeds. But we all know as soon as we pass our test, that information is all forgotten. In normal circumstances, the safest way to brake is early and lightly, and as the vehicle starts to slow down coming to a stop, just a bit more firm on the brake pedal, and then after that, just as the car is coming to a stop, just ease off the brake pressure to avoid a jerky stop. When at speed, you might not know how long it's gonna take you to stop. There's thinking time, there's braking time, and there's bringing the vehicle to a stop to think about. So it's not just all about putting your foot down on that brake pedal. So I've come to Perry's Motors to speak to somebody to find out what should be considered when taking a car out on the road. I'm here with Simon, who's a master technician here for Perry's. And Simon, we're going to talk about stopping distances, but what should I take into account? Because I know about stopping distances, mm -hmm. but what other factors are there on the road, say, that we should look out for? Well, Paul, most people are aware, yes, of stopping distances, but as you say, there's some things that you can't control yourself. And those sort of things you're looking at are condition of the road, the road surface you're travelling on, weather conditions, whether it's wet, dry, frosty, icy, or even loose gravel, yeah. say you come across in country roads. Yeah, I agree with that, Simon. And what about things that we can control? What have we got in our power that we can control with stopping distances? The stuff you can do to help yourself are making sure your car's regularly serviced, or even doing your own checks, like check your tyre pressures, condition of your tyres, brakes, obviously condition of the brakes, always an important thing. Mm. And they're not something that you can easily look at and check yourself. Yeah. So it's important that you, you get your car regularly checked mm -hmm. so you know the condition of them, even brake fluid, that's another thing people overlook. Mm -hmm. So the condition of that also should be assessed professionally. Perfect, so lots of things to look into there, isn't there? Plenty. What about the person driving the car? What should they be maybe looking out for? Yeah, I mean, obviously the drinking and driving is an obvious one. Mm. Tiredness, if you know you're going on a long journey or a, you know an early morning start, Make sure you get a good night's sleep. Make sure you've got plenty of water with you, that sort of thing. Mm. Stop and have regular breaks is the other thing. Yeah. So anything you can do to make sure that you're fully aware, mm -hmm. then that's what you need to do. Yeah. Other thing is just be aware of what other road users are doing. So Simon, speed is a big thing, isn't it? It's, you know, if you can drop your speed, maybe that's going to help, isn't it? Always is. Obviously, the, the slower you're going, the quicker you'll be able to stop. A lot of people don't realise that at 30 miles an hour, it's your stopping average stopping distance is up to 75 foot, which is like six car lengths. Yeah. So, and that's just at 30 miles an hour. It's a long so, time, that isn't it? And so, it is. would anything else in the car make that difference? Weight is a big, big factor, obviously. Mm -hmm. So, if you're on your annual holiday, car full of children, you know the boots loaded up with all your luggage, you're carrying a lot, lot more weight, mm -hmm. and that six car lengths can easily increase so you've got to be aware of that and especially if you've got somebody in front of you as well that distance mm. uh, should you always be looking to just keep a, a, a relatively safe distance in different conditions i suppose as well you know you have to always at the back of your mind you don't know what that car in front is going to do so the, the wise thing obviously is to leave not just the safe distance but an extra safe distance. So Simon, keeping safe sounds mm -hmm. like it's imperative and knowing the facts will keep you away from that danger. So thank mm -hmm. you for all your information. It's my pleasure. Thank, thank you. you. Cheers.